Sixth Sense is a esports organization based out of Indianapolis. We have dabbled in the competitive gaming side of things, but really focus on the apparel and entertainment side. And I know that sounds like we just kind of sit around and play games, but it, it is a business at the end of the day. And you know, it, we work hard on it and it's, it's our life right now. Six Sense was originally founded because Kenny, Riley, and I were originally in an organization called Newborn Kings, and we didn't like the way that was ran, so uh, we decided to branch off and kind of do our own thing and run things how we knew they should be ran. I think esports is very important for Indianapolis because I don't think it's been done very much here. You don't see a whole lot of these professional organizations out of Indianapolis. It's just an untapped market here. And I think that gives us such a great advantage because we can we can adapt into this city and really grow it to its potential that, you know, it, it could be in esports. As far as Six Sense as a business goes, I want to be the top team coming out of Indianapolis because a lot of us are local. We have like a tight-knit family type relationship, which I know a lot of teams have. But a lot of us can come here to UGX at the shop and we can all play together. We can just have a good time and hang out and get stuff done. As far-fetched as it sounds, and as much of like a dream as it sounds like right now, we really believe that we can be the first professional organization to branch out of Indiana, to really put the city of Indianapolis on the map. We would hopefully have that, that home pride throughout the population, and people would finally start to look at Indianapolis as, you know, this is a city that's gonna contend with esports. They've got something going on over there. We don't really have any esports teams to root for, so, you know, a lot of us cheer for NRG out of Chicago, or my personal favorite team is Atlanta FaZe. And uh, we don't really have any teams to root for, so, you know, I'd like to be that top team. It would almost be as if we didn't have the Pacers and would cheer for somebody like the Chicago Bulls, for example. It's hard to get the point across of how hard these esports players work without relating it to something that most people know. You never want, like, the big argument is never to compare esports with physical sports, but regular sports teams, you get up every day, you go to practice, you play in your games, you play in your tournaments. These esports players are doing the exact same thing. They're getting up, they're practicing eight hours a day. They're going to 12 hour tournaments, sometimes all weekend long tournaments. It is a full time job for these guys. It, it's not just getting on and playing video games. This is their life, this is what they do. It is their livelihood. This is how they put food on their table. And esports is an industry that never sleeps. You know, if you take a day off, if you slack off, there's somebody out there getting better than you. And we all have the same end goal in mind, and we want to make a career out of it one day. Esports is a rapidly growing industry. And as far as Sixth Sense goes, it's only up from here. It's not really hanging out. Boomers won't get that. <laughs>